<laughs> you know, back in the 50s, Coca-Cola put a little arid landscape in one of their commercials that said, you know, drink Coke on it, split frame, subliminal message, boosted their profits by, you know, over 50%. It's a very well documented case of this. And, you know, this is a highly subjective subliminal environment for children. You know, I used to pledge allegiance to the flag. Um, the place that you can see a swastika in the window panes right here, that's stretching it for you. Do a little bit of research on the, uh, on the way the subliminal programming works. Um, that's a backwards American flag, people. Okay? This is a school that's named after a Holocaust victim that left us a diary. A young girl named Anne Frank. You know, if this national renovation project amongst schools that, you know, brings in and incorporates backwards American flags into the architecture isn't enough, if the fact that the diet that they're giving these kids isn't enough with the aspartame and all of these other things that have been definitively shown to cause so many different health hazards, it's, it'd make your head spin. Um, you know, maybe, maybe now, the fact that there's a device on this property of this Dallas Independent School. The, you know, this is a school in the Dallas Independent School District. It's actually the largest elementary school in the Dallas ISD. You know, it comes complete with a modified diet, subliminal environment that's highly subjective. And you know, for anybody who doesn't think that this thing is on the, the, the school property itself, here's the property line, okay? There's the street. You know, there's the main school back there in the, in the background. These are smaller buildings, obviously, that are little classrooms for kids. Um, this is a largely minority school, primarily Hispanic, but also lots of African American and other ethnicities in here, and also white children in here. Um, but here's the bottom line, people, okay? And help me out here if, if I'm wrong, paranoid, you know, fanatical, but, uh, that is a device known to the World Health Organization to cause an array of different health hazards. And it is clearly on the public school grounds of this school in the Dallas Independent School District. And it's got to be stopped, people. They're like this across schools across this country. And these are weaponized devices. Ask somebody who's been in the military and knows their head from their ass. Okay, these things can literally make you do things that you don't even think that you're doing. You think that you're doing them of your own volition. Okay? So I'm asking people for their help today to get this shit off of our schools. And they're raising an awareness campaign about this. It's ridiculous. It's terrible. It should not be this way. And something has to be done.